Okay, here are my two favorite tips, and they're also kind of the quickest tips for optimizing a full scene like this. So taking down uh, the vert, the vertices count, and uh, and also merging materials. So, and I didn't see these in any of the tutorials. I just sort of found out about them. So. Tip number one is destructive. So uh, save a copy before you do anything. And depending on your workflow, you might want to do this at the beginning or at the end or sort of mix it up. But basically, uh, you're probably familiar with the decimate modifier, which uh, if you're not, you should go figure that out right now. Um, but if you, so I'm here in the editor. If I push A to select all, tab to go into edit mode, A to make sure all my vertices are selected, and then go into mesh and then get, go down here to clean up. You have a bunch of different options here. Uh, it, the main ones that I use a lot and I wish I would have known from day one is merge by distance, uh, decimate geometry. So you could do like the uh, decimate modifier, you can do that with specific uh, with specific geometry. So for instance, this entire scene, or you could do it with just say a wheel on one of these vehicles. You could just do it instead of having to do it for the entire vehicle. You could just select the wheel that you want to, to, to do it. Um, but uh, but yeah, before we do that, I'm going to go up here, window, toggle system console. So that'll get us, we'll be able to see more information. And then if we look here, we have this scene right now has 515,000 uh, verts. So if we do this mesh, clean up, merge by distance, just by pushing that, well, I, I've already had it selected for something else, but I don't know if you saw that, but uh, where's my console? I don't see my console. Window, console. So just by doing that merge by distance, I removed 272,000 vertices. So I literally took the entire scene and brought it in half, half the, uh, half the uh, vertices which is pretty insane. And this in this particular scene, um, I actually can probably get away with that. The default is something like 0 0.0000001 or something. Uh, even still, even the default would remove 43,000 vertices. And then you can play with this merge by distance to, to see, you know, 0 0.01 or in my case, 0 0.1 is fine. Um, this particular scene. And it, like I said, it can remove just tons and tons of vertices. But again, like what's really great about this is you don't have to do it for your entire scene. So you could do, so you push seven to get in this view. Let's say that our all of our action happens on this side of the airport. We could select just this side, uh, do Alt Z to get into X-ray mode, and then do this. And then uh, you can also push F3 and then search merge by distance. And then you can do it to, to those. Now I've already done it, so it's not gonna remove much, but I'll just do point two for the sake of, uh, for the sake of this tutorial. So, um, so that's awesome. And then the other thing is, so you can push A again to select all, and then you could go up to mesh, clean up. Uh, let's go ahead and delete loose. Let's see if there's anything there. There's no loose ones, but depending on where you're getting this and what's happened to it, you might, you might have a bunch of loose vertices just hanging out. And that's one way you can easily delete all of them. And then the other one too, and again, you can also just, if you if you have some of these assets that you don't want to be affected, you could just hide them. Let's say these three aircraft were important. Uh, go into edit mode. Oh, excuse me, select all, edit. And now those three won't be affected, but I can select everything else. Oh, what's going on here? All, edit. Uh, and then I can go into mesh, and then I can do clean up and decimate geometry. And I'm going to go in here so you can see the results because it's kind of, it can be, uh, you can do some damage here for sure. I'm going to do Alt Z to get out of x-ray mode. Uh, just look at this. So if I go 0.5, we should see a pretty big difference. Um, so you can see it brought that down really, really low. So, you know, again, this might not be the, resi the, the desired result. You can just do 0 0.75, Let's see what that does. And, you know, that might work for me. And uh, and then if we look here, oh, it won't tell us how many, uh, but we could look over here. So we say, so right now, so let's go back up to one. So this is with nothing, ha so this is with no decimation. Uh, it's 238,000 vertices. So if I do 0.75, now we're at 186. So you could see how you could very quickly decimate an entire scene or, or, or parts of a scene really, really quickly. Before I was adding a decimate modifier for every single object. 
and it was just tedious, just tedious. And then if I had a big object, say let's say these were all joined, um, and I wanted to decimate, say this this plane here, let's say these wheels were attached to this aircraft, um, what I would do is I would separate the wheels uh, as a separate mesh, make them their own object, and then add the decimate modifier, and then decimate them. Uh, but now I could just uh, edit, and then select those, obviously I would do a better job, and then do mesh decimate. So that's awesome. The other quick tip that I wish I would have known from day one, that's amazing, is uh, merge merging the material. So uh, let me get out of edit mode just so we see this. So and let's Alt H to bring back all of our aircraft. So right now, if I go up to this and I hide the empties, these are all meshes here, okay? Now this particular scene has like almost a thousand separate meshes. So if this were going into a game engine, for instance, that's a thousand draw calls. In some game engines, most game engines probably, Sketchfab, Unreal, Unity, different engines like that have ways of automatically merging meshes that share the same material, but there's still prob probably going to be a performance hit uh, because some of them happen, like I know for instance in Sketchfab, it happens at runtime. So you're still going to have some sort of performance hit. So it's, it's sort of a good practice that if you have uh, 20 materials that you have 20 meshes uh, and that's a longer discussion we can talk about that more at another time I'm just going to show you real quick how to do it uh, and then you can decide how you want to do it but so if you go up to edit preferences add-ons and then search for material this comes shipped with uh, blender it's just material utilities it's unchecked by default check it and then you do sh so so select all edit a to select all and then shift Q, go down to specials. Oh, um, you don't need to be in edit mode. You need to be in object mode. So in object mode, A to select all, shift Q to go to material utilities, specials, join by material, and then do auto join. And then watch what happens. Push OK. Now, instead of a thousand meshes, we have like 20 meshes. Uh, and so that's, again, that's 20 draw calls instead of a thousand draw calls. So this is a. Uh, <laughs> This is a huge, 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 huge improvement uh, over where it was, and uh, and in some cases this would be helpful because now if I wanted to apply modifiers, for instance, to all these aircraft to have a more non-destructive way of decimating, uh, now I c instead of having to add a thousand modifiers, I can just deal with 20. So I could have a decimate modifier that has, uh, let's say, 0.5, and it would make these aircraft look like like terrible, but. Uh, but then I don't have to worry about, I could export this, have it apply this modifier on the export, but if I, ever, if I want to come back to this and uh, export it at one, I could do that. It's a non-destructive workflow. So anyway, two very quick, very helpful uh, things I would have known from day one using Blender that uh, can hopefully help you optimize your game. There's a, there's a million different ways you could use them. You'd probably want to use them in, uh, in different areas. You might not want to do it all up front or all at the end. You'd probably want to do a little bit here, a little bit there. But uh, I think you get the idea of, uh, of what I'm trying to show you, and I hopeful, hopefully it was helpful. All right, take care.